Hey guys, welcome back to Dip Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today it's not at all about guitar gear. Quick heads up, I'm not going to talk about pedals once in this video. So, I think I've said before, kind of probably in the news and coffee, that I find the camera stuff of making videos really quite hard. It's the hardest part of it, especially B-roll, uh, which is kind of... Uh, if you don't know what B-roll is, I guess it's kind of the close-ups, the slow motion that I do of pedals and the swishing shots like that because really technically I don't know much about the different settings on cameras and things like that. Um, so I've had to work my way around certain things. Also, I do this YouTube channel on a relatively tight budget. I have obviously invested money in different equipment and things and like that, but I can't just go out and spend, you know, hundreds of pounds on different bits of gear for recording as much as I'd like to and that leads me directly on to what this video is about one of my favorite types of b-roll uh, or one of my favorite methods and techniques of b-roll is the sliding shot um, so you can either slide in or slide out or slide sideways and I do that I do that um, but I do it in an unconventional way most people I guess or the professional way of doing it is using a what they call a slider a camera slider I think it's something like that and these can be super expensive they're really high-tech piece of equipment um, and I can't really I never really could justify spending more than how much my camera is worth uh, on this type of equipment so I've had to work my way around this sort of thing like I have with a lot of other parts of making the videos I'm sure I'm not the first person to ever do this but I'm proud of what uh, I'm able to do on such a small budget so specifically I'm talking about my intro shots where I'm showing different angles of the pedal so I've got my little coffee table set up and my lighting and all the bits and bobs like that I'm not going to go too much into that um, with the pedal on the other end of the table to the camera. I also should also point out that I have really do not have steady hands at all. I cannot do handheld shots with the camera at all, otherwise it would look like this. If you, I've done it a couple times and it's really almost unwatchable because I just can't hold my hand and the camera steady at the same time. What I've come up with is an ingenious slider method um, of basically using different books, put the camera on the book and then slide the book around the table kind of in a slider slow motion way. So how I do this is I set my frame rate on my camera to double what it usually is which is uh, I think 50 frames per second. That enables me to slow it right down when I'm editing so it's like a slow motion slow sweeping shot. And what I will do depending on the height of the pedal I will set a number of books up like this, camera on top and then like I said slide it around in a circular motion and get different nice angles and things like that. Obviously it could probably look better if I did spend some money on a slider but you know this just works nicely for me at the moment and I thought it would be fun to show you guys a bit of behind the scenes and hopefully now every time you see an introduction to one of my demos you think of me sliding books across my table. Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw please subscribe and maybe check out some more and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys!